I'm Joy Killo of the Texas Association of Biology Teachers, and to save time, we're giving a joint statement with STAT and other Texas science education organizations. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. I am Karen Hewitt, the immediate past president of the Science Teachers Association of Texas, known as STAT. STAT is encouraging the SBOE to follow the recommendations of all the national, state, science, and science education professional organizations, which has been provided to you in our STAT science notebook. STAT urges the board to remove any amendments that are contrary to these professional recommendations. Please remove the amendments made in January and adopt the standards proposed in December by the Committee of Science Educators. We are opposed to any efforts to amend the TEKS that are inconsistent with national standards and recommendations of our professional organizations. To insert weaknesses, strengths and weaknesses and other similar uh, language into the standards because it is inappropriate and can be misinterpreted so that conflicting non-scientific ideas can be introduced along with scientific concepts to inserting and analyze and evaluate in the amendments, this could lead to new language on assessments and we are concerned with our inclusion students. And opposed to changes in the earth and space systems and biology TEKS as proposed by the TEKS committee. STAT supports science standards that are factual, clear, and grade appropriate. There is an overwhelming consensus in the science and science education communities that the theory of evolution accounts for the diversity of life inhabiting our planet. Elements of the scientific theory, like any other, are subject to continued refinement as our understanding of living systems improves. As the eyes of the nation watch Texas, the actions of the SBOE can have a profound impact on future the future of science education. We recommend that you pass without amendments the TEKS revision document put forth by the Committee of Science Educators. Thank you for considering these suggestions and for your work on behalf of future Texas students. Don, I have a question. Uh, thank you for coming and uh, all of you to stand up there. Um, could you, uh, since the issue is, seems to be focused on strength and weaknesses. Can you expound a little bit about that? So that it, apparently people think that with that wording out that, there, that, there, that the theory of evolution will be taught one-sided and as a fact and that there will not be an opportunity for teachers or students to look at all sides. I'd like you to. I don't think that that would be happening. Uh, we're going to teach evolution as a theory. I mean, we have been doing that. We look at the strengths, yes. If, and, and my students raise these questions all the time about what ifs, and we get a lot of what if discussions, but we have to limit it. And that's part of where the strengths and weaknesses comes. There's just not enough time sometimes to answer all the questions. Mm -hmm. well, that's telling. Does anyone else have a comment? Some of the things we do as a science educator is to identify the evidence that has been found, the empirical evidence. And there are gaps in that evidence currently. But that doesn't mean that there are weaknesses in the theory. It's just not yet explained. Ms. Hardy? Um, I, I am concerned and I, I am somewhat confused about when you said we don't have time to to delve into the uh, subject area to the extent, I, I'm, how much time do you spend on this? On evolution? Uh huh. We have about three days. So, but, but, we talk about it all year long as we talk about other topics. Okay. So, when you say that that there's a limit on the. Uh, uh, analyzing and evaluating, mm -hmm. it is because it could go on to ad nauseum. Is that what, sort of like yes, a board meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Dunbar. Um, yes, thank you. So just to clarify, when you say you don't have time, in the interest of time, generally speaking, in order to get the strengths in, a lot of times you don't have time to address the weaknesses or in your statement, maybe not weaknesses, but semantically the, the gaps or the lack of evidence. So it, it would be those things that you wouldn't have time to address. Uh, basically, yes. And we, you know, we talk about change all year long and we, in biology we do, in physical science we do, uh, it's, it's there. Okay. And the other question I had though, just to confirm, you do see a difference or distinction between the language analyze and evaluate and the inclusion of the words strengths and weaknesses. There is a difference, yes. Okay. So to, if I told the constituent that it meant the same thing and it was necessarily included, that wouldn't, that wouldn't actually be factually accurate, correct? Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.